हेलो एंड हाय एवरीवन ये वीडियो बहुत ही खास और बहुत ही रेयर वीडियो है जो कहीं मुझे लगता है आपको यूट्यूब पर मिलेगी और यूट्यूब पर भी अगर ये मिल गई ना वीडियो तो मुझे नहीं लगता प्रॉपर इन्फॉर्मेशन कोई देने वाला है जी हाँ एक ऐसी ख़तरनाक बीमारी जिसको मैं जो जब सुनाऊंगा और आप जब सुनोगे तो मुझे ही लगता है कि पैरों के नीचे से ज़मीन निकलने वाली है फ़ोटो तो ऑलमोस्ट देख ही लिया होगा आपने स्लाइड में तो चलो चलते हैं और बात करते हैं नेक्रोफीलिया के बारे में लेकिन इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो लेट्स बिगिन सो नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज अ नेक्रोफीलिया और नेक्रोफीलिया डिजीज ओके सो हेयर वी गो द टर्म नेक्रोफीलिया इज डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड ओके मींस नेक्रोज मींस द डेड एंड द फीलिया मीनिंग इज लव अफेक्शन फ्रेंडशिप और अट्रैक्शन Two words are dead body. So let's go and discuss it in a very deeply manner. Actually, necrophilia is a rare and extremely sexual disorder characterized by a strong attraction or sexual arousal towards dead bodies. Towards dead bodies. Yes, of course, it is. So it is considered a type of ओके पैराफीलिया और अ सेक्शुअल और अ सेक्शुअल डेवियंस ओके एंड इट इज इलीगल एंड मोरली ओके एंड मोरली रेप्यूगनेंट इन मोस्ट कल्चर्स सो दोज हु इंगेज इन नेक्रोफीलिया मे सीक आउट कॉप्सिस ओके इन अ मॉर्चिज फ्यूनरल होम्स और इवन इवन इन अ ग्रेव्स सो यू कैन इमेजिन दिस थिंग सो इन ऑर्डर टू सेटिस्फाई ओनली देयर सेक्शुअल डिजायर्स दे डू दिस थिंग सो इट इज कॉल्ड अ नेक्रोफीलिया बट वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन अ डीपली सो लेट्स गो necrophilia is not considered a disease first of all okay in the traditional sense but rather a type of sexual disorder or paraphilia it is classified as a mental disorder in the diagnostic and the statistical manual of mental disorder which is a reference manual used by mental health professionals to diagnose and treat mental illness okay so however it is important to note that not all people with necrophilic tendencies have a mental disorder and some may engage in this behavior due to other factors such as substance abuse or trauma regardless of the causes necrophilia is widely considered to be a harmful and can be a dangerous actually it is very dangerous behavior so we have understood what is necrophilia in a very deeply manner so now come to the main point how necrophilia disease affect human being so how you can judge someone that he is affected by this kind of disease so let's go and discuss it so necrophilia is a highly taboo and illegal sexual behavior that involves having sexual attraction and engaging in sexual activity with a dead body so it is considered a mental disorder and a criminal offense in many countries engaging in necrophilia can have serious psychological social and legal consequences for both the offender and the family and the loved ones of the dead so the act of necrophilia can cause emotional distress and trauma to those who discover it and it is also a violation of dignity of the dead so moreover engaging in necrophilia can lead to the spread of diseases and infections so especially if the offender or perpetrator does not take proper precautions while engaging in sexual activity with a corpse oh my god so it can also be a sign of an underlying mental disorder and may be associated with the other forms of a criminal behavior 
सो इट्स टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिम्टम्स ऑफ नेक्रोफीलिया सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू जज द फीलिंग ऑफ सम वन और द फीलिंग्स ऑफ योर लव वंस सो हेयर वी गो लेट्स डिस्कस इट इन अ वेरी सिंपली मैनर विद अ डिटेल्ड इंफॉर्मेशन सो स्टे ट्यून स्टे विद अस टिल द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सो नेक्रोफीलिया इज अ वेरी रेयर एंड हाईली टेबू डिसऑर्डर एंड सिम्टम्स कैन वेरी वीडली डिपेंडिंग on the individual however but some of the common symptoms of necrophilia i include here first persistent sexual attraction to the dead bodies second strong fantasies or urges to engage in sexual activity with the dead bodies third repeatedly seeking out and or visiting places where dead bodies are kept or stored such as a lot of graveyard or mortuaries okay i mean to say mortuaries theek hai okay so the fourth one is collecting photographs or the other items related to the dead body fifth engaging in sexual acts with a corpse okay corpse including fondling intercourse or the other sexual contact okay so the sixth one is feeling a sense of emotional डिटैचमेंट और अ लैक ऑफ एम्पथी एम्पथी टू वर्ड द डेड बॉडी ओके डिकीज मीन्स डेड बॉडी और यू कैन से अ डेड द सेवन वन इज डिफिकल्टी एस्टेब्लिशिंग एंड मेंटेनिंग अ हेल्थी सेक्शुअल रिलेशनशिप विद लिविंग इंडिविजुअल्स सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नोट दैट ऑल द इंडिविजुअल्स विद नेक्रोफीलिया एग्जिबिट ऑल ऑफ दीज सिम्टम्स एंड द सेवरिटी ऑफ द सिम्टम्स कैन ऑल्सो वेरी वीडली if you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of necrophilia it is important to seek professional help from the mental health provider okay in this slide i'm giving you some data whatever i found theek hai okay so let's go and discuss it in india found some necrophilia cases in 2015 a 24 year old man was arrested in the new delhi for having sexual intercourse with a corpse of a woman who had died already of a over drug dose okay so the man had worked at a hospital and had uh, reportedly taken advantages of his access to the morgue to engage in the act and the second one but not the last one in 2019 a 38 year old man was arrested in the state of uttar pradesh by all accounts raping the corpse of a woman who had died in a road accident and the man had reportedly broken into the morgue where the dead body was being kept and had engaged in sexual activity with the dead bodies the very shitting things it is happening if you see this kind of people and this kind of mentality so thank you very much stay tuned with us stay connected with us subscribe our channel share this video as much as you can so that everyone will be able to find out what is the exactly happening in the society